Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a soupy, easy, and inexpensive, oh my gosh, so cute, farmhouse hard banner. And we're going to use any scrap cardboard, foam board, whatever you got, we're going to use it. We're also going to use some of this cotton twine from the Dollar Tree, as well as some jute twine. We're going to use our hot glue device, as well as our scissor. Oh, sorry, cutting device. Just kidding. Um, and... I'm starting off here with some scrap pieces of foam board. I had these left over from so many projects. I always like to keep my scraps because you never know you're going to need a little piece. And what I've done here is I've taken the heart that we previously cut out of the um, banner that we did with the little fabric hearts on it. But you just make a heart, find a heart of the size that you like. Um, this one's approximately three inches um, left and right and probably two and a half inches top to bottom. Um, and I'm just going to cut out of foam board or cardboard now here's where my tips come in if you are going to make white cotton ones with the cotton um, string from the Dollar Tree then I would suggest you putting it on a white background I did try these um, I did try putting jute on the white background I also tried putting the white on cardboard for you guys and you definitely have to use way more string to cover up every tiny little hole that shows up um, with the opposing color behind it. So I highly recommend that if you're going to put um, the cotton jute on, then go ahead and use um, a white piece of underlayment. And if you're going to do the jute jute, then go ahead and use a piece of just uh, corrugated cardboard. Now the Dollar Tree does sell trifold poster board, which is white on one side and cardboard on the other. And that is absolutely 100% appropriate for this craft. So if you don't have any supplies just laying around, um, you can go ahead and pick that up for a dollar and you can get miles and miles <laughs> out of um, one roll of jute, one um, of the cotton twines and one thing of of uh of that trifold board definitely you can get tons but we definitely want to use a heavier material than poster board um, as you start to wrap these with string then um, if the material is too light it will bend um, and you'll lose that rigidity and you'll lose that heart shape okay so now I am just cutting these with the scissor because having a perfect edge is so not necessary it really isn't and though I have the hot glue gun on the list you can technically make these without glue because we've done lots of um, DIYs where we've um, hidden the string at the end um, and um, if you have a needle that you could use, uh, say you have uh, like a turkey basting needle, that'd be perfect to string these together. Um, but that's the only times we're going to use the hot glue for here. We're going to kind of create a needle and we're also just going to start and finish with hot glue just to make it easier. But if you are doing this with kids, because this is a great, another great kids craft, senior craft, or somebody on adult with developmental disabilities could definitely handle this, um, I think fantastically um, it's very therapeutic if you want to make this a mile long you just sit in front of the tv with your hearts and your string and you just go to town um, but what i've decided to do for this particular diy and for this particular project for my house is we're going to create five white hearts and four jute ones um, and because this is the kind of project where you can just mindlessly spin and spin and spin i do did not videotape every single heart because as I was doing it I started to like pull it in closer to my body because I was doing it mindlessly and I didn't hold it under the camera so you guys won't have to sit here and adore me wrapping nine hearts in front of the camera um, but I will show you uh, two one white and one jute um, pretty pretty much the entire project okay now, since you don't need this to be a perfectly cut out heart, but you do want it to be as symmetrical as possible, um, the, the only tips that I can give you uh, when cutting the foam board is I cut um, everything but the bow of the heart out, and then I cut the bow at the very end. It just makes it simpler. Um, you don't have to worry about bending. You want to try not to bend the foam board or the cardboard if at all possible, because it could create that same thing. Like with poster board, it could bend the heart and you would lose your heart shape. That is the only tips that I can give you right now. Um, and the same thing goes with the cardboard. So what I basically did was um, I cut the V portion of the bottom of the heart and then went around the top and I cut across 
both bows and then back down the other side. And then once I was done cutting out that shape, um, then I went ahead and I cut the like right side of the bow in towards the middle and then I cut the left side of the bow in towards the middle, actually cutting like what would seem like backwards, um, holding the scissors sort of backwards. Um, now this is just a box I received, you know, it's just a regular cardboard piece of scrap box. I cut the little flaps off to create four hearts. And like I said, this is a tiny piece. Um, I, I hope that you guys have some scraps around that you don't have to go and invest in, um, the foam, the, the poster board, not poster board, the project board, excuse me. Um, the trifold project board from the Dollar Tree, but if you have to, obviously it's not a lot of money, but I love to create projects with stuff that I have laying around. I really do. It's my favorite way to upcycle, recycle garbage. <laughs> I hate to think that it's going in a landfill when you, you know, some places don't have recycling programs. Obviously, some people burn their trash if they're out in the country and, and such. But it just anytime we can repurpose it and not have to spend more money on new product to create, I am a happy girl. And if you're an all-natural person, you know, this is uh, unbleached cotton twine. I believe it's unbleached cotton twine, it says. And, of course, the jute twine. They're both naturally occurring products in the world. And, of course, the cardboard. The foam board isn't, but if you've got the cardboard, it's obviously all paper. Now, if you just have cardboard laying around and you want to do the white hearts, you can go ahead and glue on just like um, any kind of paper that's white. So like printer paper or any any white um, craft paper that you have, you could just glue over um, the cardboard as well. If you don't have any white project board underneath it, okay? That's the other alternative. And the same transversely, if you only had foam board, you can always use like craft paper or brown paper bag and and just cover the heart um underneath what you're twisting underneath the jute to go ahead and make it brown so it just i i did make like i said i did make them um with the posing colors and you have to use so much more material it almost isn't really worth it plus um it does weight the hearts down a little bit more than i really liked i like the way that they kind of hang now and this, again, was inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest that somebody wanted to sell me. Um, what they had actually made it with was yarn. Um, they made white yarn, and it was a white heart, a white yarn heart, and a white pom-pom, and a white yarn heart, and a white pom-pom. Um, for my decor this uh, Valentine's Day, and this doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day again, weddings, love, anytime, anywhere, hearts are always appropriate. Because the greatest of all of these is love. Don't forget. But um, what I'm going to decorate for my Valentine's Day decor this year on my mantle. I'm going to go ahead and I was inspired by some things that I saw that had uh, a string of pom-poms with the garland underneath it. And I was like, well, I just make these hearts. And I don't have to worry about um, adding the pom-poms to this string. I'll just do two separate things. Okay. So now that we're wrapping around, it's pretty simple. We just glued the end down. You don't have to do that. You could actually cut a little slit in the cardboard to hold it like you were making a pom-pom. And the only tricks that I really have is um, unless you want to use a lot more string, well, all right, in, a, in an effort to save some string, we're going to glue down at the bottom little V um, to hold the string from sliding up. Otherwise, you'll have to use a lot more to get that little bottom V covered. And um, just in different angles, you want to go in different directions. You want to constantly move it around. Um, those are like the tips that I have. It's kind of like making a ball of yarn if you're a knitter or a crocheter and you get a skein and you have to make a ball of yarn. Um, it's kind of along those lines where you just want to constantly move it and turn it um, and have it go in all different directions. And it does go super fast. I know that this is two times speed, but it is really, really a quick project. Um, and then what I decided to do is at the very end, I'm just uh, putting down a string of glue along the back side. What I did before I decided to end it is I looked at the both sides and saw which one I liked the best, and I was going to make that the front. So then I put a strip of glue down the back side, and I continued to wrap a couple of more rows um, to, over the glue so that it holds the end down. And then once that settles a little bit, you go ahead and cut it off. Okay? Now, I do, once again, I always apologize when I have terrible camera work. 
Um, there's a lot of times where my camera will slide and I don't even know it. And or there's other times where I'll be just so into my project that I'll forget to hold it under the camera for you guys. So you're not going to see me wrap all nine of them. Plus, you don't want to. Trust me, it's boring. Um, it's a fun project to do because it's like easy, but it's also, you know, boring to watch other people do it. <laughs> so um, I've tried to edit it so that you can just see when I wrap and, and, and it's completed projects in different directions. All right. And now when it comes to this um, cotton string from uh, the cotton twine that's from the Dollar Tree, you can find that in the uh, workforce section. That's where you can find tools and stuff. And this particular um, jute string that we're using from the Dollar Tree was with the garden section. But they do have a three pack that's often by the tool section as well. It's uh, one, two natural colors and one green one. So at Christmas time, they came out with red jute. And if you were wanted to add red to a valentine's day decor then you definitely could wrap this in red jute that would be super cute i would go ahead and then take whatever heart shape and then cover it with red um, paper or paint it red before i wrapped it just to make it that much easier okay and like i said it's the same thing you just want to make sure that you cover around all the edges um I don't really think that there's any tricks that I can any more tricks I can necessarily teach you, but you kind of have to get a rhythm for it and see how your string is hanging on there. And it will depend on what material you're using underneath it and how thick it is and yada yada. You know, like just little things like that. You'll see as you start to build. But really, my other trick is just to save some string is to um, glue the very bottom V. Um, just put a little glue down and then I wrapped around a couple of like here So I put a little glue and then I put a couple of wraps and I kind of go a little slower so that the glue has a chance to hold on um, And then I just continue to wrap over it I'll go around another direction and I'll go back towards the tip at the end um, And then you want it to get it nice and thick So that's where you just put a little glue down you put a couple of rows over it and then uh, cut off the excess All right and then um, you're just going to repeat this like I said. So now, uh, like I said, I didn't have a needle. Um, it definitely could have been an option to glue your hearts together and then wrap them. It would be much more of a difficult process to do that than to actually create a needle. Um, I have these little tiny um, pieces of... Um, they were they they held pumpkins um they're like picks these little tiny wood skewer things um that i have from the dollar tree and i'm going to create a needle with them um to to sew the thread that's going to connect them underneath it okay but that is just uh the option that i'm doing if you have a long enough needle you can probably do um say a uh, if you had a crochet hook, a real fine crochet hook, you could probably feed the cro crochet hook through um, all the strings and then hook onto the piece that you're pulling through. I mean, there's just probably other ways to sew the hearts together. I think the worst case scenario is if you had to just glue the string across the back, you absolutely could. The reason I was avoiding gluing them is because I like to adjust. I like to make my things adjustable. Um, you know, this year I have them on my fireplace and I want them on my fireplace, but next year I might want them over the doorway and I don't need them to be quite as long. So that's why I like to make all of my banners like adjustable. And Jim's always like, why does it have so much string on the other end? Because I might want to make it longer next year. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> But um, so that's why I like to make them adjustable. But if you know exactly where you're going to hang this and exactly how long you need it, then you can go ahead and just glue the string across the back. Um, the only tip that I do have for the, where the string needs to go across in relation to the heart is it definitely needs to go uh, the top quarter or the top third down. Because any if you tried to put it in the middle, it would definitely have a tendency to have the heart spin on you. Um, some hearts would be an upside down and backwards. Um, and if you just glue it across the top quarter or tw top third, then you won't have to worry about that. They'll just hang um, perfectly. Okay. So basically what I did was I took that piece of skewer or whatever you can use, that little piece of, uh, piece of wood, and I wrapped, uh, put a little hot glue down on the bottom and I wrapped the 
cotton twine around a few times. Now you could hang this on jute or cotton twine. It's totally entirely up to you. I just decided to go with the cotton twine. Um, but then what I did was I kind of created a needle. And once the glue was set up, I made sure that the string was down nice and tight. I used it to just slowly wiggle my way um, across the backside of of the hearts. You always want to make sure you go in left to right, left to right. If you're going to do left to right or right to left, whichever way you're going to go, just continue to go the same way. And again, one third to one quarter of the way down the top of the heart. Um, I got stuck on it once and one time it broke and gave me a splinter and I swore. Sorry, I'm glad that I do a voiceover because nobody wants to hear me swear because I got stabbed with a piece of wood. So be careful depending on what you use, of course. Uh, you might have to just be a little bit more careful. Okay, but the best part, the best thing to have for this would be a skewer. I just was too lazy to get up and go get one. That's really how that works. Um, <laughs> but uh, actually the real best thing would be to be like a turkey needle. Uh, that would be probably the perfect thing because that's long, thin, and has an actual hole on the end for this cotton twine. All right, and then I've decided to make mine white natural, white, natural, or cotton, jute, cotton, jute, cotton, jute. And that's just the way I prefer it to be. But honestly, as you watch me finish sewing these, I'm going to wrap it up because that's all there is to do. I've put a noose, um, a noose hanger on both ends, which is basically when we just uh, fold the string over and then tie it around and create like a little noose. Not like a noose, a little, uh, a little hitch. I have a hitch on both ends. Um, and then again, hang it. It's adjustable. We ended up adjusting this. It was, we put one heart, Jimmy put his hand with, and then another heart and a hand with, and that's what it looks like when you see it for the sample and in the thumbnail and at the end. Okay. But again, mine's adjustable. Um, if I had to get, if I had to tell you that they were probably four inches apart, that's probably what I would say. There's probably four inches of string between each heart. All right. Now, be careful when you do this again. Um, just don't, you know, try not to hurt yourself. So this is probably my last um, heart-related object for the season. I might have one more tomorrow, actually. Um, I'll be honest with you because there's this one I really want to make for myself and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, but hopefully you really enjoyed this lovey, <laughs> farmhouse lovey series. <laughs> I'm trying not to call them Valentine's Day decors because a lot of people don't decorate for Valentine's Day. But really, weddings, anniversaries, just love, um, you know, honeymoons, anything that you can think of, love season. Um, like I said, these are always appropriate because the greatest of all of uh, the greatest of these is love, right? Depending on what version you're reading. Um, so as I wrap it up, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all of your love and support. We've reached 25,000 subscribers and it just couldn't make me more happy or more proud to come into your homes every day and to teach you something new. Okay. So there you go. That's it. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. Again, I'm sorry for so much of it being off camera, but I think you guys can get the gist of it. If you um, would like to share with friends and family, anybody you know might be interested in making um, one out of all hearts, hearts and pom-poms, all jute, all cotton, um, you do share, please. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.